Hello everyone, it's your Zelda buddy Jaggernaut here hanging out today, playing some more Breath of the Wild. We are headed towards that destination and that guy up there. That's what we're doing today, so if you find yourself enjoying this video, if it makes you chuckle or smile or smack your forehead, definitely show your support and hit that like button for me. And uh, let's get into it. Last time we learned a lot about the princess. Let's recap. We watched this one, this one, and this one. And these two weren't a whole lot. I mean, this one told us that something bad is happening. But we already knew that from this one because something bad started happening. Um, and then this one is the beginning, way back at the beginning, where for she, where she, where she, where she, where she where she first chose us as the champion. Did she choose us or did the sword choose us? I'm thinking the latter. And in this one, she tried to poison us with a frog. So we have three more. I don't have any idea where this one is. Castle of some sort. This one. Oh, this one. This one is probably over here. Uh, let's see, is there a tree in it? Yeah, one big tree, two little baby heads there, okay. Keep doing that. Uh, let's, oh, uh, way over here, there's this giant stone bridge over here. Nope, not that one. This one. Across Lake Hylia. And there's some trees off in the distance. Maybe that one? It could be that one, right? Maybe. Anyways, we're not, that's not what we're doing today. We'll figure that stuff out in a bit. So after we, we're going to go ahead and get started on the final um, Divine Beast. Okay? Over here with the bird people. I've actually come over here a couple of times by mistake. As soon as we walk across the bridge, it's going to trigger the cutscene. So I have to, always have to stop and start over and not proceed forth anymore. So, let's make sure we're dressed in appropriate clothes. Like that, I guess. Because it was freezing on top of the mountain. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's get after it. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. We're going to have to make our way up there somehow. I honestly don't know how. What's this? Berries! I love berries. Better than vegetables. Okay, so we got to go look at that bird. You got something to say to me, bird? <laughs> Did I ruin the cutscene on accident and I forgot to reset it? Hey, is there a cutscene over here? Yeah. Good day, bird man. Do you need something? Who the heck are you? You are a bird with fingers. That must be convenient. The Rito? That's what their official name is? Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori. Where the men are fine anchor, uh, archers and the women are better singers. Hmm. I... I don't get around very much, Gusain. I was kind of dead for a hundred years, so... <laughs> yeah, that happened. There's a bunch of shrines over here. That's why I tried to come over here a bunch of times, because I was trying to get shrines. I actually have not done a shrine in a long time. As many of you know, my... <gasps> Can we make it all the way up there? My schedule is not quite my own, so I've not had as much time to play this um, as I would like. I actually have not played it since... We recorded last, which was about a week ago, so that's great. I could have swore there was a cutscene eventually. I mean, it's been a while since I've been over here, but... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. on that little stick thing, that little rock. I don't think that thing is strong enough to support us. Okay, cutscene over. All right, I, I knew there was a cutscene in there eventually. So let's go up here. We're going to have to get that dinging to stop in Dorito Village. This place is neat. 
Hey, you have a spear too? I am a fan of the spear. The spear is probably the most bestest weapon throughout all of history. Even though they're not very viable in this game, I sure do appreciate the spear. <gasps> I don't think I have enough, but hello. You have a hat on. I only have two. Okay, but well, I don't have enough. Okay, yep, thanks. I understand. Thank you. Okay, let's sigh. This one is sad. I'm thinking this is one of the feminine birds. Look at their feet! That would be weird to have claws on your feet instead of regular feet. What do we got to do around here? Open beds here. That's the inn. Okay, I don't need to sleep. Uh, this is the general goods store. What do you got over here? <laughs> you got wheat? Sugar? Butter? You probably should put your butter in the refrigerator. Like <gasps> arrows. Well, I don't have any money. No, I spent all my money on something I can't remember. It was probably several weeks ago. Dang it. All right, we won't buy anything. Okay, lady. Sorry, I can't buy anything. I'm poor. Okay, <gasps> but I need money. Are you the? It's proprietor of this establishment. Hey, sport, on your way to the mountains? Mm -hmm. Plan to go play some clip. Go play someplace cold. Man, why can't I not talk today? You should consider buying some warm clothes. Okay. I uh, need some more of these warm clothes. Snow quill headdress, a thousand dollars. Snow quill tunic, only six hundred bucks. Why is this so much more expensive? And this one is five fifty. Gives us better cold resistance, because the only cold resistance we have is this dumpy old doublet. Which we got from the old man before he dissipated into smoke. Because he was, uh, he was a ghost. Look, small child bird! Oh, I'll leave you alone to be. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. Sorry, I don't, I don't have time for small children at the moment. I am on a quest! Did I go over there? Is that... I think that's the inn, right? I think that's the inn, yeah. Someone around here is going to have an exclamation on their mark and look remarkably different. A birdie. Nope. Sure not going to do that. Nope. Not playing that game. Uh, let's see. King Zora was a ginormous shark man versus the fishy people. And then... We had... Uh, let's see who was next. Bluto. Bluto is a giant Goron, much different from the others. You have very nice coloring, ma'am. Very nice coloring indeed. And then we had... Uh, who was the Gerudo? Oh, it was the Chief Raju. And she guess she wasn't that different than the other ones. Her bodyguard was definitely much larger than the, <laughs> than the rest of everybody else. And Chief Raju was a small little girl. Okay, where is the king or... Chieftain or spiritual leader of this place. There's lots of lots of people. Let's examine what? Oh, Revali's Revali's landing. Do I have to? Oh, uh, uh, that's not gonna get me up there. I don't know what this is. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the fourth champion. Revali? 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 <gasps> Look! Someone who is different! You are much differenter than all the other ones. You are probably. Excuse me, small child. You are probably the one I have to talk to. Wake up, owl! He looks like Owl from Pooh Bear. A visitor! Welcome to. Oh. Oh! That object on your hip. Could it be? Is it he? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sir, Kennelly, Cannoli, we've seen this before. Forgive me, where are my manners? I'm Cannoli, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah slate dangling from your hip? No, sir. No, it's not. Oh, so I was mistaken. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Cannoli, I just lied to you. A guest? What ho? That thing on your... F yes, yes it is. I lied to you. I'm a joker. I'm a kidder. <laughs> oh my! So it is true. This means you must be a champion like Master Revali. 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 <laughs> One of the few able to board the divine beast, Vamedoa. Medo. 
me no me no me no not like that no what am i thinking the champions have all been dead for a hundred years this boy must be a mere descendant and an heritor of the sheikah's league you know it's a good observation you make right there sir very good mm. ah forgive me champion descendant if you would listen to this old man's request you would have my eternal gratitude i suppose i have no choice do i i need to get up on top of that bird thing okay so uh get, get talking now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put it? Uh, like this, sir. Just, just spit it out. But don't spit on me, please. I would like you to deal with the divine beast of Amoda, Mido, uh, Mido, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Aren't you the boss? Boss man? Mm. Teba and Harth tried to confront Mido, but it did not go well, and Harth was injured. Teba, Tebo, Tim Tebow escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Mido alone. As a descendant of the champion, or actually the champion himself, perhaps you can help us. Please find Tim Tebow and work together. You may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Mido. All right, we have an objective. We gotta go talk to some whippersnapper. <laughs> we gotta go talk to some whippersnapper and convince him to let us fly on his back. So that uh, let's see, do we have a dot on the map here? We do. But as to which level it is on, if it is above us or below us, who knows? Do you think he's in the inn? That might be possible. Hey, are you? Are you Tim Tebow? Are you Tim oh. Tebow? No, you are Fison. Uh, I didn't see it. No, no, and I don't really want to talk to you. I'm <laughs> not really the percept. Hey, I noticed that you were not Tim Tebow. But I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. <laughs> Okay. Aww. Oh, I want to own your own store. That's cool. That's cool. <gasps> Wait! I know you, Fison. I will be back one day after this whole business is over. I need shopkeepers, I hear. Maybe. Something about something or other. Hey, Tim Tebow! Um. Are you also the morgue? Erg. Oh, you are not a bird man. You are a scared man of some sort. You probably don't like heights. I need... Where is Tebow or Hearth? I don't... I mean, there's a lot of... Wait, wait, wait. Where's the dot? Okay. Let's keep following the dot. Maybe it will lead us... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's on that one? Okie dokie. I bet this one is Hearth. Hearth! Hey, buddy. I'm guessing you caught wind of that monster circling around our village. I suppose I should get you up to speed on what went down. Yes, please tell me of your failure. <laughs> here goes. You see this wound here on my wing? I got shot by that thing in the sky. Legend has it the monster was once the protector of this village. Hmm. Those days are long gone. As soon as Teba, Tebow, and I approached the thing, it shot us out of nowhere. We tried to fight back, but I was too slow and got hit. Thankfully, Tebow caught me while I was falling. We had no choice but to retreat. When I think about what would have happened, I get the goosebumps. <sighs> so you're planning to find Tebow? Yes. Nope. Go away. Thank you, sir. I have a dot that will tell me exactly who Tim Tebow is and where I could find him. And it says I could find him right uh, here. Oh, crap. Maybe I do have to talk to him. Hey! Wait a minute. This is Tip Tebow, isn't it? You are Tip Tebow! Hey! No, you are Doolin. Okay. It's your brother. <laughs> Wait. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Totally. Spread your rings at... Oh. Aww. Thanks. I know what we're talking about. But I don't want to do that. Hey, are you Tip... Are you Tebow? Uh. Sounds like you intend to help my husband. <gasps> He's probably at the flight range. Where did he go? To the flight range. To the flight range, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I knew it, I knew it. 
What? What are we looking at? If you take off from Rivali's landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Oh, okay. Cool. I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. Full of yourself, huh? With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. Oh my gosh. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. I'm gonna kick your butt, man. Come down here. Face me underground. Good luck sealing the darkness. Mm, I do not like that guy. Uh, I do not like him at all. That one could stay dead. The other ones could come back, I guess. <gasps> descendant. Descendant, are you alright? I am not a descendant. I knew whatever his name was. He's a jerkwad, man. He's a big jerk. My apologies. I fear I have said too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Yeah, why was he such a jerk? Man, that guy was full of himself. Oh, I am complete mastery, and please do not pardon me for saying that I am the bestest in the whole wide world, and so on and so forth. Wait a minute. Um, it's a straight shot down from here? Do you guys know what the definition of straight is? Um... Oh, I guess I could jump over here. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's that thing right there, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> land on top of this building, and oh, go, 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 no, no, I have lost altitude. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I could climb up or something. Oh wait, let's put our climbing clothes on. Yeah! Now we're ready to do some climbing! Can I speed this along, perhaps? Huzzah! Okay, so we gotta make it up here. Oh, now we're cold. Because I don't have enough money I have to use. I gotta use this spear. Because I am poor. I am a poor, unfortunate soul. It's sad, but... Oh, crap. No! Dang it! Uh, what the heck? Why do I have this? And why don't you have one of these? <laughs> no, Yiga. No, Yiga, man. No, Yiga, sir. No, Yiga. No, don't you touch that. Don't touch that. Don't you do this. Hold on, I have the wrong pants on. I need my booty shorts. Let's put on uh, this, and we'll put on this, and we'll put on this. Now I am ready to... Ow! Poke me! Poke you. Oh, I want to kill you. I want to kill you dead. What? He dodged it! Oh, this is not going well. Oh, 
Excuse you! Excuse you! And excuse you! Excuse you! Excuse you! Good gracious! Okay, where's this club? I like these clubs. These are good clubs. Uh, let's get this back out. Let's <laughs> put on a warmer shirt. But pants are okay. My, my legs are tough, okay? My legs are real tough. Okay! Now that we've had that distraction, you stinking banana Gary and dadgummit banana loving man, you stupid dadgummit. All right, let's run up here. I guess I could have just uh, zerped over here on the uh, <laughs> with the shrine, but that would have ruined all the fun. That would have ruined all the fun. We got to kick butt and get our butt kicked. Okay. Um, Tim Tebow, are you Tim Tebow? Yes, I imagine he is, if you're cutscene. Tim Tebow, talk to me, buddy. Why'd you get your butt kicked? I guess your buddy got his butt kicked. Yeah? That's all you're gonna say? I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Uh, I don't like the Rito. They're not very nice people. Tip Tebow, you shut your mouth. Let me. Is this a good boat? That is not a good boat. But I might need it for what's ahead, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. What does it do? Nine damage? Ha! Ah! No! What garbage bow? What does it say? Favorite among Ritos, bowstring specifically engineered, allows to be drawn faster than a normal bow. This is kind of cool, I guess. Yo, Tim Tebow, you talk to me right now. I actually, I bet you're related to, uh, what's his name? Ravelli, because he was a jerkwad and you seem to be a pretty jerkwad too. So let's work together and I will tolerate you until you get me on top of that guy right there. Okay? That's the deal. I will tolerate you if you get me up there. How does that sound? Hmm. Do you need something? I'm busy here. I will help you. I could do it, Tim Tebow. Hmm? Help me. With what exactly? Oh, the little thing called a divine beast? Let me get this straight. Some random little boy wants to help me bring down the divine beast? I'm not buying it. Who put you up to this? What's your name, stranger? My name is Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Can you not see my cool hat and my heroic posture? I even put my thumbs behind my belt? That's awesome! I love it! Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Tebow. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me, am I right? Uh-huh! Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright fellow. But let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rita warrior, I cannot rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. As a conquering hero, I suppose, probably. Hmm. Once the Divine Beast falls from the sky. No, I need the Divine Beast. You cannot kill him. I doubt you could do that anyways, you puny birdman. If I have to kill me, though, so be it. He is a machine. You can't kill a machine, you silly man, silly birdie. Only then will I return. <laughs> I like your attitude, Link. Let's get started, though. Are you serious? <laughs> ha! Well, far be it for me to talk you off the ledge, but as the Elder said, the only way to stop him is to get inside it, so... You don't have wings. <laughs> so... Actually... Ha! So not only are you wingless, but you're also... Watch who you call brainless Jim Tebow. I'll cook your head all right, hard to right in the post. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, they all died when somebody happened to get his butt kicked and ruined everything. Um, that somebody was me, bro, I got my butt kicked. Never mind, let's focus on bringing down Mito one step at a time. If we approach Mito recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. 
The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open a cloth over their head and float up easily. I have such a cloth! It was actually given to me by the King of Hyrule, who died a hundred years ago, but he's been sticking around as an old codger, and then he waited for me to wake up from sleep, but that's a long story and I won't bore you with it now. Hmm. Let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. Okay, alright, um, let's do it. Hmm. Then go and destroy five targets. Let's do it! Okay, nope, okay, alright, we're doing this. Uh, I actually have made a grave mistake. Oh, look, it gave us more stab in the back. That's excellent. Let's come down here. Like this. Okay, yeah, just like that. I don't know how this is. Oh, hey, you want me to. Wait a minute. You... I just have to destroy five? <laughs> that was kind of. How, how long did that take us? Like 30 seconds? 15 seconds? No seconds? I'm that great. I'm awesome. Mm. You, you're a skilled archer. If it was it was as if time stopped with every arrow you yeah actually I I control time I am the hero of time you may have heard of him I got my butt kicked a while ago so most people just remember that but I also am a great archer I've got to tell you link when you first showed up I thought someone was pulling a prank on you I see I told you, I told you but after seeing the handle of that bow I could tell you're the real deal you must have seen a battle or two yeah I mean I don't want to brag or nothing but I've seen hundreds of them <laughs> I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Mido, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Hmm. Inside that treasure chest is a bow. I've modified it. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Oh, a gift? Okay. Oh, falcon bow. I guess it's 33. I guess it's something. You modified it? You put a stick on the front? My inventory is full. That's because I picked up this stupid bow right here. Gosh, you, you guys make real crappy bows, you know what? The Lionels make much better bows. In fact, ancient bows are even better than that. But look at this bow right here. It does 47 damage type 3 shots. That's so amazing. I'm not even going to attempt to do that math because I don't have that many fingers and toes. But let's, uh, I guess we can give your bow a try, I suppose. I mean, the falcon bow, a highly refined breed made bow created by a master retail craftsman. You're a master craftsman as well as warrior? Superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. Alrighty. Well, you know what? I'm not ready to go yet, so... I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here. Thank you so much, you guys, for coming to hang out. I hope you enjoyed the commentary and all the talking, and then our masterful aerial combat experience, etc., etc. Anyways, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching. You guys keep surviving.